moving up in the world. First leg is Richie to throw first. Game on. And while I think that Ed House is moving in the right direction in the world of darts, it pains me to say it, I fear that Steve Beaton is in danger of moving the wrong One. way in the world of darts. Now, so often, it's a perennial thing. When Beaton One. looks like he's on the slide, he pulls out a great weekend from somewhere. He might need to do something like that here this weekend. One. Because remember... Somebody goes on a deep run in this tournament. You can get them in the European Championship, the World Grand Prix, oh, two ranking TV events, thousands of pounds added on to your world ranking, and all of a sudden things can change. 435. Ah, the monkey supporting Madhouse tonight. He has got no loyalty, that bear. Yeah. 99. Steve Beaton's on stage. Spank that monkey. One hundred. Head house leaving a bogey number, so just chips away at that. Nice trainers, though. I will say that. Steve Beaton, though, is in a precarious position Richie when it comes to 66. those European championships. So let's come back to that as and when this leg is completed. Double 16 for Richie. 34. Chance for Beaton. TV requires 71. Free throw in leg one. Yes. Double 16. Double eight doesn't have to move. 55. Richie requires 72. Headhouse dodges one. Yeah, and the does first take the first Richie leg. Edhouse. So it is on throw this one. Headhouse taking that first leg. But Beaton currently on 2,000. Guaranteed pounds. Does need another victory to get into the Euros. He's currently in a spot provisionally, but he is one of the players right now who is on the chopping block. 100. With Hiat Nentjes, with Daryl Gurney, and I feel it's only a matter of time before somebody goes over the top of them. Four count back. Not just the people in pursuit from today. No, I'm talking more. about the likes of Ratajski, Clayton, Dirk van Dijvenbode, Sulevich. There are six seeds to come tomorrow who, if they win, Three will the jump eight. straight up to £3,000. So Beaton knows he has to win this game. Yeah. Win this game and he's in. Lose this six. game and he can still be in. But what he's relying on is I think five of those six seeded players to lose tomorrow. Because we know that Gabriel yeah, Clemens... Uh, oh no, Luke Humphreys is already through actually. So if Luke Humphreys were to win that, that would do him a favour. So maybe just the you know Luke Humphreys to win and then be four of those six seeded players to lose. Oh, I think seven. Beaton might just sneak in there. But we are talking fine margins and you're relying on you know major champions and informed players losing out matches. Having five, said that, not the other ones. Mensor Sulevich out of action. Devin Peterson out of form. Danny Noppert not played a lot. Dirk van Dijvenbode keeps losing games. Christoph Ratajski and Johnny Clayton are both under pressure. Oh, I yeah, did. The, uh, seeded players there who there are question marks over. Stranger things have happened. Well, Steve Beaton leaving a 1-5-9 is no big surprise, I suppose. Yeah, I mean... Far stranger no, things have happened than that. But you require 52. To double the lead. Same bed. Yeah, same result. Same this Richie time Edhouse. done a little bit quicker. The leg is Richie to throw Not first. So mad right Game. now. In fact, very jovial. Edhouse does have experience of beating top quality opposition on the European tour. I will never forget that finish that he took out against Adrian Lewis in an 11 leg 100. thriller of 160. It was to finish an afternoon session, and Lewis was thinking, he's not going to hit that. I'm going to take my small number. What did Ed House do? Bang, bang, bang. Was that against 80, was it? Adrian I Lewis. remember the checkout. I, for some reason, I've got it stuck in my head. It was against James Wade, but I, I remember that, because that was, did he reach the quarterfinals? That yeah, I think he did. did. Well, maybe the semis, actually. It was one of those moments where Adrian was left cold at the edge of the stage. Ed House can do oh, great yeah. things on the stage. 
but maybe he hasn't done it quite enough yet. But it could well be a heartbreaker tonight for the beaten following. 108! More evidence of that. Beating on 262. He's got to go 18s here. Oh, they're oh, Drafted well. Should have maybe gone to the 18s with dart two there to give himself the easier chance of leaving the finish with dart three. Zero but he got there in the end. Ball. Oh, Cast the shadow over it. You and you can get to the halfway point in no time. Able to find his way through. 60. Steve Ubon, 25. Can't make mistakes. And yeah, doesn't. Settling, Steve. In the game he goes. Well, it's Steve to throw first. Is a break game. to bring us back on the throw. So Steve Beaton has really got to put his foot down now. But when it comes to making something like the World Grand Prix, oh, that Steve Beaton is going to have to make the final if not win it you think he's gonna have to win it because what we can reveal is that before today, there were four qualifying spots up for grabs 12 places were safe that's now down to two because daryl gurney and now maven king are safe two on the bubble are darius labanouskas and mensur sulevic 100. Well, as we know, getting to a, a major TV tournament oh, is an achievement in itself. But a run there just takes one really good week or a really good couple of days, and it can completely turn careers around. we have seen players on the slide and then produce runs at big TV events that has just completely turned everything about remember John Henderson semi-finals yeah, of the eight. world drawn three. 161 remains his best individual TV tournament oh, I did not. Yeah, looks in pretty good shape here he's throwing at a very high level it's only a 94 average but for me it looks better than that oh, 127 again beat another 159 mm -hmm. Again, it's Ed House at 32. 30 oh, a bit swift. Steve Ubon, 32. That's Richie's misses out there. Sweating it. Game shot the fourth leg. Steve Ubon. leg is Richie to throw first. Game. Bit of a family affair this week, isn't it, Dan? Lots of kids here, lots of families. Well, I think it's perhaps not surprising, is it? Things are starting to open up. 140. And even though a lot of these guys have been travelling around, you know, we've had pro tours in Germany. We have had some events here. Oh, and there. But the majority of the guys on the tour have been stuck in Milton Keynes. A little bit of Barnsley, but a lot of Milton Keynes. So a weekend in the supposed sunshine, although it's tipped it down for most of the day has been jumped upon by a lot of these guys to come out and bring their friends, family, supporters, oh, or seven. indeed any random acquaintance they meet on the bus with them. I think the prospect of just playing on stage as well, away from the cubicles of the players' championships, is a nice break. It's, an, it's a different scene. That's the beautiful thing. Safety. I can talk about it myself from playing lots of events over the last 10, 12 years. You get excited about European Tour darts. The possibility of the walk-on, the fans, the noise, the stage experience. 140. That is a good 140. In fact, it's a great 140 because he was a bit edgy on that last dart. Yeah, he didn't look like he was enjoying the prospect yeah, of exactly. throwing at that. Did you require 40? Big fat 20, just in case he caught the flights and bust his score. Yeah, on the fifth leg. 14 darts. Steve just first. gets his nose in front again. Does have a winning record against Beaton. Three wins out of their five meetings. 41. Yes, that's right. Sounded like Nigel Pearson there. That's right. 
Vax right. Six. Good quality, that. Beaton just trying to get it done, though. And that's exactly what he did in qualifying. Oh, 121. Two pals. Aaron Beanie and Matthew Edgar. Edgar 6'5", Beanie 6'2", with a 94 average. 58. As far as Ed House is concerned, he took out Gary Blades, and he took out Dave Chisnell. Chisnell not making one appearance on the Euro Tour in 2021. Well, there you go. I know we've had two events, but Chizzy, another big name, not going to be at the European Championship. He's a guy who's, you know, he's the England number two for a start. Well inside the top ten in the world. Dimitri Vandenberg, the world number five, he's not at the European Championship. It is going to be a strange-looking lineup. Turn on the air conditioning, they say. People are getting hot under the collar for some late Six night eating. Understandable. I'm sure you'd agree. That doesn't help with 104, but that does. Especially when Ed House is adrift. 64. All good in the hood. As long as you get tops. You said big fat tops in the last leg, didn't you? No, I did An episode of Gavin and Stacey, that 40. one. And Pamela would say, tops, big fat tops. Oh, oh that's Dubai. terrible, Steve. Oh, dear. You've got Richie every right to tell yourself 26. off. Especially if Richie hits this. Watch out. Oh, that would have been losing. And now Steve's got this awkward five. looking five to draw level. And from the sixth leg, Steve Beaton. Draw level, he does. Some leg is for Richie to throw Three first. Three apiece, they can't be separated. Lots of joy out there tonight. Great to see. In this event that. Oh, we hoped it would take place last year, but of course it didn't. And that's why Christopher Tyski is the defending champion two years on from winning it. I believe it was in late September in 2019, wasn't it? It was. It was the 42. final one of the year. Beating Dave Chisnell in the final. That performance against Dave Chisnell and... Daryl Gurney in the semi-final. Oh, oh. Oh, final session, Christoph Rutowski properly turned up. And I think a, a lot of people had questioned whether he could take his, his pro tour stuff, his floor event stuff, onto the biggest stages. Now, I mean, why you would be questioning a, a world master, I don't know, but there certainly hey, people were. But, you but we saw him do it there, and we certainly saw him do it at the world match play this year, where he reached the semi-finals. 60. One of the people that Ratajski beat on the way to those semi-finals at the World Match Play will be next in Luke Humphreys. And he's had a good battle with Clemens in the past as well, hasn't he? He's in the world. What a 180 that was from Beaton. Double 10, Red House. Big dot. Oh, it's a big miss. And Beaton for a break. Oh, where did that bounce off? That was in. It looked it. Eight. Oh, that never did. Richie well, required left an impression five. in the double 16. I we'll have to say it did bounce off the other dart. It's Richie's turn on five. The angle is horrible. Three. Let's see the angle Steve of that dart. 24. How it went in. It showed where he was throwing from. Double six. It's yeah, there. Playing, Steve. And Steve has got every right yeah, to go back Steve to the opening now and have a big exhale. Well, he is only averaging 85. He is only hitting 25% of his darts double. But right now, that is enough for the bronze Adonis to be leading this match and putting himself in line for a return to the European Championship. 140. Seen of his only PDC major final back in 2009 tournament Six. that has been lost and will never be seen again nobody has any footage of it drives me mad mm. 
Oh, that in 29. Single best performance by any player over the whole tournament by Phil Taylor. Yeah, an astonishing 110 tournament average. 60. But notable also for the bronze to Donis making the final, where he got exactly the same treatment everybody else had been getting off Taylor over the course of the few days. 90. Ed House sensibly using the bullseye. 25 would have got him down to 167. What's Steve going to do to leave a finish? 96. That's okay. 142. Ed House has done really well to get the first chance here. Is it going to take something like a 145 to get a two leg gap in this match? 145. Oh, well, that one hurts. Because Richie Edhouse is going to have to use all three oh, darts here. 29. He could go go on trouble, fifth, trouble 17 ball. He's not going to. He will get the one dart. A double 16. One yeah, dart is all he needs. Great Richie. finish, Richie Edhouse. Oh. He's done some very good darts first. in this match, has Richie. But his rhythm under pressure right there was absolutely metronomic. Game on. And it has to be for him to play well because he has that rocking style. If he gets the timing wrong, he can get that late release oh, and it can float out of his hand without any penetration through the air. But those three darts were so well thrown. Yeah, really needed it as well. Beaten sat on double eight for a 5-3 lead. Forty-four. How many times has Beaton been in this position? Well, he needs to find something from the bottom of his 61. pocket. To take his name into Saturday's list. Give himself the chance of possibly being in something else, but he's got a huge thorn on his side. The man who currently resides in East Sussex. Said he's no, he's out. He has been only going one way north. Well, he's gone south when it comes to living situations. 66, yeah. 66 confirmed by Kirk Bevins. 87. Beaton needs a maximum. A ton 40 would be okay, but a ton is not really going to apply 60. any pressure, and that Richie doesn't even get him to a finish. 56. And Richie Edhouse. Well, he's cost himself a dart at double. 24. He can do that in that situation only. Mm -hmm. And maybe, just maybe, he wanted to leave double 16. Well, it may be a better double for him. In the long run, it might turn out to be a happy little accident. As Bob Ross would have it. Cash on the ninth leg, Richie. One leg away. Ten leg is Steve to throw first. Game on. I wouldn't want to play poker against that monkey, by the way. I, I mean, I don't think anybody's expecting you to. Oh, okay. Never gives his hand away. 48. I've never seen Richie Edhouse in a pink T-shirt. That's some nice, strong merch there from Madhouse. That's, uh, is that a new dark shirt for 43. Richie? 43. He's been Not through that one. He's, <laughs> he's been through a few. A couple of them. Horrendous. One of them was way too big for him. It was like one of those baggy dart shirts from the 90s that had slits in the back. They were awful things. This one, this one looks, makes him look a bit more slender. 93. One from a couple of years ago did him no favours. When he was a challenge to a player and playing because of having a strong challenge to a season. 123. He for a lot of tournaments in a year. Then, of course, he got his tour card via the challenge tour behind Dave Evans in the Order of Merit. Yeah, and you have to say, Dave Evans, despite being so, so good last year on the Challenge Tour and on the Pro Tour when he had the opportunity, he's not really oh, he's brought it. that form into this year. Richie Edhouse has perhaps looked more dangerous when we've seen him in action. But then again, you know, Richie, as you say, has had a lot more experience oh, playing on the circuit. And that's a good experience shot there to take the five off and leave a Shanghai finish for the match. Totally agree. He is something not small enough. Great lie for a 60. Didn't penetrate the air enough. 
60. He's left himself a two dart and he will close his eyes right now and hope that the 60 in bull is not found. He missed this on the bull earlier on. And he's 90. missed it by even more Richie this time. And it might be the 60. last dart he throws here in Gibraltar. Richie Edhouse, match darts incoming for a spot in round two. And take on Nathan Aspinall, Madhouse. Madhouse. Completes the job, a 6-4 victory.